Hello, Monetization Nation. I'm Nathan Gwilym, your host. And today we're going to talk about profiting with a purpose. Corporate social responsibility has become all of the rage. And statistics are now showing that it actually makes a difference. It, it helps drive greater employee satisfaction, customer satisfaction, and, and actually drives more of a profit. The company Listen, um, which is spelled L-S-T-N, was founded in 2013 by Bridget Hilton and Joe Huff. Listen connects individuals, families, and communities through sound. They teamed with Starkey Hearing Foundation to restore hearing. And for every pair of headphones that they sell, they restore hearing for a person in need. So far, they've already given the gift of sound to more than 20,000 people in the U.S., Peru, Kenya, and Uganda. The source for that is Fast Company. Just think about that for a moment. How would that feel to work for a company that had helped 20,000 people uh, receive the gift of sound again. Um, how much more motivated would you be to work for that company? Imagine being a consumer. How much more likely would you be to buy products from this company versus one of their competitors, knowing the good that they're doing in the world? And consumers will probably even pay more for those products than they would for products from companies that are not making that type of social contribution. Rick Warren, the pastor, said, The Bible teaches that we are to love people and use money, but we often get that reversed, and you start loving money and using people to get more money. Bob Dylan, the singer, said, All the money you made will never buy back your soul. We must focus on using the profits that we generate to do good, and it will actually help us to generate more profits. I recently saw a report from Harvard Business School with a whole bunch of statistics showing about the difference that social contribution and purpose within our organizations can make for our companies. Here are a few examples. Did you know that 70% of Americans believe that it's either somewhat or very important for companies to make the world a better place? That same article said that 77% of consumers are motivated to purchase from companies committed to making the world a better place, while 73% of investors state that efforts to improve the environment and society contribute to their investment decisions. Did you know that 88% of employees believe that it's no longer acceptable for companies to make money at the expense of society at large? And nearly 70% of employees say that they wouldn't work for a company without a strong purpose. And 60% of employees said they would take a pay cut to work at a purpose-driven company. And 90% of employees who work at companies with a strong sense of purpose say they're more inspired, motivated, and loyal. So it's clear that we as employers must be looking at cor corporate social responsibility and giving back to social causes if we want to attract and retain skilled employees. So our challenge for today is to find or refocus on our cause. Find our cause that we as an organization are passionate about and or that our ideal customers are passionate about. And then let's find ways that we can make a meaningful difference for that cause. Let's allow our community and our employees and our customers to be part of, of those causes and, and the difference we're trying to make. And let's not do it expecting a return. Let's do it because it's the right thing to do. But as a natural result, it will probably help us attract and retain better employees. It will probably help us attract our ideal customers. It will probably help grow our profits. As Ariana Huffington, the famous entrepreneur said, making money and doing good in the world are not mutually exclusive. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode, and I wish you success at profiting with a purpose.